What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean. Today we're adding another SSD to the overpowered 17-inch laptop. The driver we're using is the Intel 660p. It's a budget SSD. This is a QLC NAND, so it is slower than some other types. I won't get into all of that here, but for everyday usage, like downloading games and playing them, it's going to be exactly the same. The overpowered laptop we have can handle three drives total. It comes pre-installed with one M2 SATA drive and one 2.5 inch SATA mechanical drive, but there's an open M2 slot and that can handle only a NVMe drive. So the one that already has a drive in it can do SATA or NVMe, but the open one has to be NVMe. And uh, this Intel 660 is gonna be perfect for that. With that said, let's crack it open and let's get this drive at it. All right, so we've got our overpowered laptop. We have our tool kit and our SSD. So let's get started. First, we're gonna flip it over. I want the front edge facing me. That's the easiest one to get into, in my experience. Okay, so these are all Phillips screws. I'm using the one in my tool kit that says 2.5 just find one that fits um, that's going to do the job without stripping the screws out <laughs> one of the screws here is underneath an overpowered warranty seal sticker so you're going to have to just poke through that to unscrew it Okay, so now we have all 12 screws out, and they're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about, you know, which ones go where. That's pretty nice. Our next step is going to be to take a pry tool or a guitar pick. Our tool kit came with this little prior tool, and that's what I'm going to use. And I have found the easiest place to start opening it is right along the front edge. So you want to work this in kind of loosen the seam up around the outside and then we're going to pop the front edge up. Just go slow. You don't want to break off any of the tabs in there. But if you go slow and steady, they'll pop up. just like so all right and then once you get it off it comes off pretty easy okay so in here this is a uh, the two and a half inch drive slot and then up here we have the already installed m2 drive and then this here is the empty space for another one. Okay, now by looking at the slot on the motherboard, you're going to notice there's a little, like a little notch, and that's going to line up with the notch on the M2 slot. So that will tell you which way it needs to be oriented. Next, you want to take out the little screw that holds the drive in place. Oh, this is a little tricky because the fan wire sits right there. You might have to manually push the fan wire up a little bit and then your drive will click right into the slot. Now we're just gonna replace the small retention screw. And our upgrade is done. We're ready to boot up into Windows. Well, as soon as we put it all back together, haha. <laughs> You just want to clip the chapsy back on and then replace the screws 
and that's really all there is to the physical upgrade. All right, so that's how you upgrade the SSD in the overpowered 17 laptop. Most laptop brands are gonna be really similar. Um, that's with the M2 drive. It's a little different with the two and a half inch drive. If this is a drive you've used before and it's been formatted, it's pretty much gonna be plug and play, just boot it up, you'll be ready to go. If it's brand new, you're probably gonna to wanna to open disk Windows manage, or Windows disk management and initialize the drive. Um, that way Windows can see it and you can get it formatted and start using it. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.